So a few weeks ago, I posted a video about how my tiny house was only $12,000. I think just based on the title, it was bound to have some response from people who said that that was a lot of money. The reason I, I titled it that was because the only response I've ever gotten from my tiny house and how much it cost was that, wow, that's really cheap. And so I figured people out there who are looking at these types of videos would, would see other tiny houses and expect it to be so much more than it was. And so I was wrong. <laughs> and so I wanted to talk a little bit about why it costs that much and places in which I think you could save money. So first off, I think for all tiny houses, the trailer is the most expensive. And my trailer cost 3200 So flatbed trailer, custom made. And then I had a donation from a local company who gave me $1,000 toward this tiny house build. And so I bought a bunch of two by fours and plywood from them. Obviously you can guess I spent a thousand dollars there. <laughs> Would I have looked at say a restore if I didn't have that thousand dollars right in the beginning? I probably would have. And so I could have saved some money by looking at some used places to purchase two by fours or maybe even plywood. I'm not sure if they would have plywood, but I know they would have two by fours at least. Um, so I could have saved some money there because in the end I did end up going back to them to purchase the siding which was about 500 maybe closer to $600. So that was probably a place where I could have spent my money better. But really it does come down a lot to planning. And I, once, once you have the money to buy something, it's hard to not buy it and go to go search at other places and so I would just say if you're planning on building a tiny house I would suggest acquiring materials for a while a long time until you actually start building because once you start you're not going to want to stop and then if you can't find like a bunch of windows at a used building place then you're just going to go buy new ones it's just because you're so hyped up about it I know a few different people who have done this and they've saved a lot of money and I really think that's the way to do it if you can if you have the time to plan ahead I don't see why you shouldn't do that um, it would save you probably thousands of dollars so there really wasn't a lot of things that were that expensive but they did add up and so one for example was my flooring I ended up my parents had some leftover flooring that I was planning on using for my house and I started it and then there wasn't enough and then when we went to the place where they had this exact flooring they didn't have the right width and so I ended up taking up what I had done and putting down five inch instead of four inch so that was probably three four hundred dollars I'm not exactly sure like I've said in a few other videos, if you want to see my whole financial sheet, just link your email down below or send me an email and I will send it to you and you can look it over and see where I spent too much money. So that was the flooring and then another big one was the paneling. This is all everywhere. It's all the same. It is four, four inch pine V-groove paneling and it is about a quarter of an inch thick, a little bit thinner. So I could have got probably better quality paneling and yeah, that's pretty much it. Better quality paneling. It probably would have been about the same price as this stuff was, but I wanted it to be thin. I wanted it to be very light. And so that's why I went with this specific paneling. It cost, I can't tell you how much I bet I spent like $800 on this paneling, but I could be wrong. Maybe more like 600 I don't know. All I know is the paneling was pretty expensive. 
um, but it was something that I wanted just to make sure that I didn't go over my 7,000 pound trailer limit, which I don't think I'm nearly close to. Windows I got from, I got four, three from a restore, under 100 other windows were more expensive and so I spent like 500, 400 on all my windows. You know, there are definitely places where I could have saved money with better planning, but I mean that's just how projects go. go. I had never built anything before and so I, what was I really supposed to expect, you know? Obviously now I think I could build a tiny house for less money that would maybe look better, but you know, who knows, maybe I will value something very expensive down the road and I will end up getting that. I really don't know, but 12000 is a lot of money and I received a lot of donations because this was my school project and so I've been able to, I was able to spend the money that was donated. What I'm trying to say is that I didn't get, I didn't know when I was going to have the money to build, to continue building certain parts of the house or take the next step with something on the inside and so once I got a donation or something or I, I worked some and got money I tended to just kind of spend it because I wanted to continue doing what I was doing it just all comes back to planning um, if I had planned better which I you know I spent a lot of time just even understanding how to build and so I think that was a lot of the problem as well I hadn't built anything before and so all the research I had been doing was related to how to frame um, roofing all sorts of things that I had no idea about and so the combination of not knowing how to build and the lack of people out there who were were giving that advice maybe that's not true there are people out there who would give similar advice as to what I'm trying to give now but I didn't have access to them so or I didn't find them I don't know however you want to look at it it's hard when there aren't people out there who are talking about what they could have done better I guess that's why I'm making this video because $12,000 is a lot and I could have done it for so much cheaper but because of those factors I didn't and now looking at it I think I could do it cheaper and so maybe in the future I will build another tiny house and you'll get to s witness all the <laughs> all the new mistakes that I make I'm not sure if that was any clearer than I've tried to describe in, in some comments below one thing I would say you have to be careful about the trailer that you buy um, you really don't want to be building this amazing house on a trailer that will end up falling apart. You really want to make sure it's a good trailer. And maybe you can get a good trailer for a thousand, two thousand. In the beginning, I think we contacted two different trailer places that were nearby. One gave us a quote for like four thousand six hundred, and this one gave us for three thousand two hundred. So it, it really depends on the resources you have and the places that are around you that you have access to and then can take advantage of. Some people might not have any places where there are like building rejects or extras. If you do, that's really awesome. And I have a few in my area I didn't take as much advantage of as I probably should have. but. You know you you learn and next time I will that's all I have to say I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have more comments or questions you can leave them below I will see you next time and I hope you're having an amazing day